Canelo, are you ready? I was born ready. <laughs> Canelo, are you ready for an ass whooping? I was born ready. <laughs> oh, yeah. Where you at now, huh? Where are y'all now? All you fucking idiots that came to my channel talking all kinds of shit. Where you at now, huh? Damn it. Y'all motherfuckers, man, I have to put you on suicide watch. You probably killed yourself last night after that. Oh my god, that was embarrassing. Just embarrassing. I tried to tell you guys that this kid wasn't ready. I tried to tell you, man. I tried to be nice to you at first. <laughs> I tried to help you. I tried to make you see the light. Oh, man. Woo! Oscar De La Hoya, man, he sure brain fucked you guys. Mm. Wow. Anyway, y'all know who this is. G Funk, post fight style, Floyd Mayweather Jr., Saul Canelo Alvarez. What can you say? I mean, what can you say now, huh? What can you say now? I told you. I told you that this kid wasn't ready. I told you he was too busy fighting fucking bums. He's fighting a bunch of old small guys like Shane Mosley. He's supposed to knock Shane out. If he was so good. Fighting small Jose Cito Lopez. Centron. Bum ass Centron. Fucking weak ass Gomez. Old ass Lovemore to do. Fucking old ass Baldemir. Fucking Kodo's brother? Come on now, the rest of these dudes he fired are just a bunch of fucking bums walking the street of Mexico. You know? Fuck. When you guys gonna learn to stand, huh? When you gonna learn? When are you gonna learn to really watch boxing and just be honest about some shit? Keep it real, you know what I'm saying? Keep this shit real. Damn. I tried to warn you, alright? As far as the fight goes, I mean, it doesn't take long to, to break this fight down, you know? Floyd was just too fast, too good, too everything for this kid. He had no idea what to do in there. None. I gave Floyd 11 rounds to one. You know what I'm saying? 11 rounds to one. CJ Ross, you gotta be ashamed of yourself. You should never judge a fucking fight again. I don't care if there's motherfuckers fighting down the street in front of your house. You shouldn't judge that fight. You have no clue what you're doing. None. Just a ridiculous scorecard, even my ass. How the fuck can I know? How was he winning rounds, huh? What was the excuse for you guys? How was he winning some rounds? Some of you out there that agree with that scorecard. What do you do? What was he landing? Oh, he was coming forward? That's how he was winning rounds, huh? Just walking forward? And getting counterpunched every time he opened up? Yeah, that's that's effective aggression, right? Come on, man. Learn something. Alright, was he was he cutting off the ring? Was he using his jab? Did he pin him against the ropes? Did he trap him in the corner and throw good combinations to the body to the head? No? He didn't do none of that. Matter of fact, Floyd Mayweather pinned his ass against the ropes and more than a few times in the fight. Walked him down more than a few times in the fight. And let off some good combinations on his ass. Come on, man. The kid was just this is a mismatch from the beginning. I tried to tell you guys the kid is overrated, you know? Just because he's overrated doesn't mean he's a bum. I'm not calling him a bum, alright? He's got some skill. He can box a little bit, you know? But, I mean, fuck, the level you guys are putting him on was just ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. Talking all this shit. Floyd's finally taking on a real challenge. Really? Yeah. He's a better version of Cotto. If Cotto could, could win rounds, Canelo could definitely win rounds. If Shane Mosley could hurt him, oh, Canelo's gonna knock him out. You know? He broke his hand against Guerrero. He's definitely gonna break his hand against Canelo. Then what's he gonna do? Oh my 
my god. I love it. I love it. Canelo did worse than all those fighters. All of them. This was probably the easiest fight Mayweather's had in years. <laughs> oh, man. Your boy got exposed on the biggest stage there is. And on on Independence Day in Mexico? Oh, man. That's gotta hurt. That's gotta hurt, man. Mm. I feel sorry for my people, man. All my Mexicanos. Oh, you guys... You guys been just brainwashed big time for this kid, you know? You wanted to ride with him oh, without without doing any kind of research, doing any kind of, you know, breakdown, you know, not comparing styles, none of that. You just you just riding with him because he's from Mexico, you know, and you're Mexican, so you want to ride with him. Now, come on, man, that's... I mean, I understand where you're coming from when you do that, but, you know... You should never let your heart get in the way of making an honest prediction on the fight. Now, I can respect you if you came to me and said, you know, I'm Mexican, so I'm a pull for Canelo because he's a Mexican too. But I gotta be honest, I don't think he's gonna beat Floyd. He's just too good, you know? I can respect that, okay? Be honest about it. But you motherfuckers weren't like that. You motherfuckers left all kinds of crazy shit on my channels, on my pages, on my videos, on everything. You motherfuckers just don't know shit about boxing, alright? Just like Roger Mayweather says, you don't know a fucking thing about boxing, alright? All you know how to do is go on YouTube and get to typing, you know? Get get to running your, running your mouth on YouTube, talking all this dumb shit, making no sense, not even breaking the fight down. Just, just hating on Floyd, basically, is all you're doing, you know? You should be hating on Canelo for fucking fooling you guys, for tricking you into thinking he was something that he wasn't, you know? He's just an ordinary fighter to me, you know? He's an okay fighter, you know? C plus, maybe a B minus type fighter, you know? But that's it. That's all he ever was to me. If you don't believe me, go ahead and check my videos. Check the video I made eight months ago called Don't Believe the Hype, Canelo Alvarez. Eight months ago I tried to warn you about this kid that he was just not that good. Just find a bunch of nobodies, you know, a bunch of old fighters. That's it. Yeah, one real fight against Austin Trout, he barely won. A lot of people don't even think he won it. But, you know, you, you believe what you want to believe, you know? Maybe next time you'll learn to respect some people around here on YouTube. Respect the real boxing channels around here. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe to some real channels. Blood Boxing. Great channel. Always keeps it real. You know what I'm saying? 78 Sports TV keeps it real. Raw Boxing TV. Dante's Boxing Nation. Outside the Ropes. D-Style Boxing. Zone 6 Boxing. Eagles World. Carter J, you know what I'm saying? My homeboy gets a qual, you know? What's up, homeboy? Yeah, these dudes, they all know how to keep it real, man. They can keep it honest, they give an honest prediction, you know? You motherfuckers need to learn, man, alright? There's plenty more channels out there that I like, that I listen to. Um, I can't name them all off, but there's plenty out there, you fucking idiots, you know? Subscribe to them, show them some love. You know, we try to drop some knowledge on you guys to learn something about the sport, you know? Show these dudes some love. Man. Oh, well. You know, this just goes to show that, you know, boxing, it's just, you know, some people just take it too serious, I guess. I don't know. I come on here and I do my videos because I love the sport. I'm not a fan of any fighter, you know. I don't be up here hyping up fighters and doing things like that, talking trash to other people. If we disagree, we can disagree on who's gonna win the fight, and that's that, you know. But you will never hear me talking fan talk, never. I said, if you're a fan of somebody, that's cool, but at least be honest about some shit, you know. Be honest about it. 
half these motherfuckers don't even understand what's going on in the fight. You know what I'm saying? Canelo's getting thoroughly outboxed in the ring, and you have no idea what, what's going on or why it's happening, you know? Motherfuckers is like, oh, yeah, you should be hitting him right here. Why is he not hitting him? Why is he not punching? Motherfuckers getting countered, you know what I'm saying? Every time you open up, you got popped with something. He was scared to open up. He's getting banged up, too. You see his eyes getting all swollen up, face all red and shit. They really put hands on that boy, you know? Teach him something. You know what I'm saying? You guys got taught a lesson last night. Canelo did, and so did you dick riding fans, alright? So, I'm gonna end this video right now. I'm gonna see how many of you punk motherfuckers are gonna come back and give me some credit. Talk about the fight with me. Probably none of you, you know? <laughs> but we'll see. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt for right now. We'll see if you make it back to my channel and, and, and give your boy G-Funk some credit. Say, hey, man, you know what? Hey, you called it. You seen it coming a long time ago. Hey, good shit, you know? That's it. But we'll see if you even do it or not. Probably not. Because you motherfuckers probably already deleted your account. Shit, who knows? You might have just killed your fucking self last night, you know? <laughs> oh, man. Just... Uh, I'm going to just sit here and just soak this one up. Feels good to see a, a, a hype job get exposed, you know. It just, you know, it's a great day, you know. Hopefully you motherfuckers will go away like the pack tards, you know, after he got his ass knocked out. Hopefully you motherfuckers will just go away and we won't have to deal with you no more, alright. But as far as Canelo goes, you know, he's going to have a tough road ahead, you know. All these dudes that he skipped over, all these dudes that he ducked and dodged at 154 pounds, he's going to have to fight them now. Or if he wants to keep ducking them, he's going to have to move up to 160. And there's some dudes up there that got some shit for him too, you know. He's going to have to fight Lara now. He's going to have to fight, you know, Madaroshan, Molina. Shit, if Kodo wins, i like to see him fight Kodo. Man, you still got them young kids too, the, the, the twins that are in the division, the Charo brothers, or I think that's their names, can't really pronounce it, the Charlos or something like that, them kids, them kids are looking pretty good too, you know, he's gonna have to fight all these dudes, man, if he moves up, he's gonna have to face the Martinez, the Kid Chocolates, the Glovekins, you know, all these dudes is waiting for him, can't duck and dodge no more, and these motherfuckers gonna call your name out now. Because you got exposed. Now we're going to really see what time it is. We're going to see if he can really step up to the plate. You know? we. I mean, I knew Floyd Mayweather was going to get in that ass. I mean, that was, just a, that was just an easy. That was a given, you know? But we're going to see. We're going to see what he's really made of now. Because there's some real challenges at 154 pounds. We'll see if he gets in there and fights him. Anyway... This your boy, G-Funk, getting ready to sign out, go watch some football on Sunday, you know? Subscribe, like, dislike, hate, do what you gotta do, but I'm always here and I always come back right or wrong, because I'm a real boxing fan. Bottom line, you motherfuckers need to learn something before you come to somebody's channel that's real and leave some stupid ass shit, some ignorant ass shit, alright? To all the boxing fans out there, the real ones, and all the, all the good channels out there, hey, big ups to you guys, alright? Props, major props. Anyway, I'm out. <laughs>